Set in the Atlantic Ocean, midway between North America and Europe, are a series of Portuguese islands that make up the Azores archipelago. There are nine islands in all, but for yachtsmen and sailors the world over, one of these volcanic islands stands above the rest, Fayal. Special the marina because um, this is this island is quite known, special among the sailors community. Everybody that comes from from Bermuda, from the Caribbean Sea, they stop here. You'll see the sailors artwork covering the jetties of the marina in the capital city of Horta. Local tradition says this will ensure them a safe voyage. Another tradition is to meet up with sailing buddies at this local sports bar. The cafe sport. Uh, Everybody speaks English and French and some German also. And then say, when you need some information, there's only one place to, to welcome. Upstairs, there's an historic collection of Scrimshaw, works of art completed by sailors during the many months they spent at sea. One old technique was to polish whale bones and teeth and then etch them with black ink. And no city tour would be complete without a visit to the local market. If you're looking for fresh fish, head for the docks when the local fishermen sail in. Fayal is essentially a huge volcanic cone, and over the years and centuries numerous eruptions have taken place. A good way to get a sense of the island as a whole is to put on your walking shoes and hike to the top of Monte Daguia. The Caldera do Inferno is an extinct volcano with a superb view of the coastline on one side and the city of Horta on the other. A tour across the island reveals spectacular stretches of coastline with waves crashing along the black volcanic sand beaches. Caldieras Nature Reserve is in the center of Fayal. Here a young volcanic cone sits inside a collapsed volcano that measures about two kilometers around the rim. And there's one last volcano on the list of must-sees in Fayal. And then we will go all along the coastline until Caplinhos, where had placed the last volcanic eruption in the Azores in 57-58. The moonscape of the volcano Dos Capilinos reveals the danger and the enormous power of these eruptions. There's something for wildlife lovers too. The Azores were named after the goshawk, a bird of prey similar to the kites which have existed here since the islands were discovered. The beauty of the island lies in its simplicity. Many hotels perch on hills where guests can enjoy a splendid view of the harbor and the ferries making their way to the island of Pico. A peak over the balcony reveals the back gardens of houses where rabbits scamper and neighbors while away the hours. And if you're lucky, Fayal may have one last surprise for you at sunset when the great cone shape of the Pico volcano pushes through the clouds to the heavens. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.